name is Joe Twente, and I'm your weekly bad What's up, Badgers, and welcome back to your weekly Badger. Today we got my man Jordan Shante from the men's basketball team. Jordan, what's good? Man, I'm out here. I'm chilling, you know. I'm grateful to be here. Thankful to be here. Yeah, for sure. Like, Jordan even reached out to me to even, like, come on the show and stuff like that. So, you know, we love to see the support and stuff like that. I got to sure. appreciate yes, the support and all that stuff. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But let's get right into it, though. So I know that you got a little accent, bro. Where, where are you from? Where are you from? I was born in Africa, in Cameroon. And then I moved to Ottawa when I was um, 10 years old. And then I moved to the States. Mm. And when I moved to the States, that's when I kind of picked up the accent, just be being around, you know, guys from like Kentucky and Memphis and different stuff like that. So um, you kind of just pick up an accent without even knowing. Yeah, get back home true. and everybody's like, yo, you have an accent. I'm like, what, what are you talking <laughs> about, you know? It's crazy, but. Now, when you lived in Ottawa, how long were you in Ottawa for before you moved to the States? Uh, for my, like, my whole high school career. My mm. whole high school career, so probably like high school and the first year of elementary school. So, probably like, I want to say nine years ish. Probably. Might not be accurate, but like yeah, yeah, around yeah. that. And then I went to the prep year before going to Juco, so it's a whole, it's a whole story. In Ottawa, yeah. like, where, where were you playing like basketball? Um, so, I played basketball at a French school called uh, Franco West. Mm. And that's kind of where I started playing basketball because, like I told you, soccer was my first sport. Yeah. So being there, I was this little athletic kid with a big head. I was damn near <laughs> bald, you know. So <laughs> um, picked up a ball. I sucked at first, of course, and then just just playing every day, getting better. And then around like 10th grade, I started growing. So I was like starting to get bigger, a little more athletic, faster than most of the guys. So yeah. I was just able to just really out athletes and certain people. Yeah. But then knowing my goals and stuff, I knew I still had to work. So. I did what I did to be able to, you know. That's yeah. facts, that's facts. So like now, being from Ottawa, yeah. and you know, this is recent Chinese, I know you went to Old Central before you, yeah. you know you got here to Brock. Like, yeah. what was that commitment process going from Ottawa to going to playing basketball in Illinois? Yeah. Um, well, my thing is growing up, I was always watching these, you know, Balls Life mixtape, you're watching Mellow Ball and everything. So I'm like, yo, I want to play in the States. Mm -hmm. um, my dad and my mom did everything they could to like keep me in Canada. But I was hard-headed, so I'm like, no, nah, I want to go to the States, I want to go to the States. And so, um, after my high school, um, after my 12th grade, I really dominated that year. So, yeah. um, I was able to get like a little three-game mixtape. And so I was just sending it out to like prep school coaches. And then I had like five schools that, that, that um, hit me back up. Yeah. And then so from there, I was able to, um, you know, just pick one, talk to my mom, talk to my parents about it, and then just be on the phone with coaches. And then from there, um, towards the end of the season, we had a few coaches coming in. And so Only Central was one of those coaches. Mm -hmm. And then from there, um, we didn't take a visit to Only, but I talked to a few players from there. And so they were able to like convince me. And then once we got over there, we seen that it's a little small city. Yeah. You know, all you really have to do is just books and basketball. So That's no distractions for me. Yeah, no distractions for yeah. me. You gotta just do your thing and do what exactly. you gotta do. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like now, you're at Brock and this is your first year at Brock. Yep. What made you come A come back to Canada? Yeah. B choose Brock as your school to come to. Yeah, so the story behind that is um so Coach Brandon, right? Mm -hmm. In Ottawa, he was coaching me, I think in 2015, 2016, I'm not hundred percent sure with the dates. And so um, a lot of coaches just coach you and then once you're done with them, you're done. Yeah. You know? But um Coach B kept in touch with me, so like he would send me emails when he didn't have my number. So then I gave him my number. And he would keep in touch. So like my first year, he's like, yo, um, I'm seeing this that you're doing, this is how you can get better. So he was sending me game film yeah. of myself. And I didn't know he was doing that. So he's like, yo, I've been, you know, I've been keeping up with you. And then second year, um, my goal was to get a division one, right? A division one scholarship. And um, he was helping me out with that. Like it was a COVID year. So like a lot of seniors could come back. Yeah. And so schools weren't really recruiting like that. You know what I yeah. mean? Unless you're like a five star, you know, one of those. So um, Coach Brandon was really helping me out. He was um, telling me what to put in my mixtape, um, how to like put on an email to send to coaches and stuff like that. And so we kept that relationship going. And then towards the end of the year, once I was coming back to Canada, just for the summer and everything, waiting to be recruited, mm -hmm. um, he was like, oh, yo, by the way, 
Um, I'm coaching at Brock. I'm at the lead assistant at Brock University. Um, I think you and Coach Will would have a great relationship together. And so from there, he put me in touch with, um, with Coach Will. And then, um, like I said, my goal was still to get a Division One basketball um, scholarship. So once I got back to Canada, I was like, okay, let me actually open up my options. So then I heard from different schools like Lakehead, Laurentian, Queens, different schools like that. Yeah. But um, what made me choose Brock is during three weeks of just being in you know, contact with the coaches and everything, being in film sessions, I was learning a lot, right? Yeah. Like they were breaking down film of like players, of how their actions are like relatable to like how, for example, NBA teams run their actions. So like, I was really learning a lot. Like it was literally like a basketball education. And um, I was like, yo, if I'm able to learn this much in three weeks, like how much can I learn being around them for, yeah. you know, how many amount of years I have left to play over here in college or university. So from there on out, it was just about them talking to my parents and then finessing them, you know, to understand that this was a better place. But the basketball education is what made me make my decision. Competition wise between OUA and mm -hmm. NJCAA. Yeah. What's the difference between like JUCO basketball level and U OUA? Um the style and everything like that. OUA I'd say JUCO I'd say is way more fast paced, right? Mm -hmm. JUCO is a lot of, you know, everybody's trying to dunk on everybody. Um but then OUA it's like you gotta think. You mm -hmm. gotta think like I haven't been around an environment or a league where like you really have to think you have to take every opponent seriously like in the states it's like yo you might see a guy that doesn't look like a basketball player you don't really pay attention to him and you know you can live with it but here you might see a guy that doesn't look like a basketball player but he'll give you 30. Yeah. you know what i mean so that's it's true, like that's true. it's like you know you, you you really can't take anybody like lightly so um i'd say that's the biggest difference just the mental approach to everything like our preparation here is like it's a whole nother level, you know, like he sets the base and then the basis feels like, wow, like I'm, I'm doing so much work, but it's like, nah, you got to find ways to even get better, you know, um, look towards or look above what the coach set as a standard yeah. and do the extra work. Yeah. So sure. and I feel like Coach Will kind of like sets that standard yeah. as well. Yeah, definitely. You know? Tough yeah, coach, but he knows what he's doing and pays off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Considering why you guys are like the only one loss on the season. Or exactly. Like that. Exactly. So, you know? yeah. so like talking about that loss though, we gotta talk about that. All right. So <laughs> game game is game is down by one point, all right? Yeah. You're at the free throw line. Yeah. You know, you missed those I broke both throws, of them. Bro. That's crazy. Like I missed both. What's going through your head? Like, you know, you, you <laughs> down on yourself after that, you kinda just like, you know what, whatever it happened, we move on, right? Like, um, so in the beginning of the season I was shooting a um, I was I was shooting a bad percentage from free throw. I was like one for five. Yeah, we know, five. bro. So we I'm know. Like, I'm tweaking. <laughs> so then Coach Wool is on. He's on me. He's like, Yo, get in the gym. Get in the gym. So I'm like, All right, I'm getting in the gym. Shoot my free throws. Shoot my free throws. And then leading up to that game, I was shooting like a lot of free throws. So yeah. like I was feeling confident and everything. And then during that game, I didn't miss any free throws up until yeah. that point. Yeah. So that point comes, and literally, I'm not thinking of everything. I have a clear mind. So I go through my routine. Boom. I shoot it. It releases off the right finger, but it goes a little bit left. So I'm like, ah. Next one, go through my routine, shoot it, and it's short. And I'm like, yo, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. You make some, you miss some. So then um, there was a time I called after that. And you know, you can't just, you know, get down, get down to yourself because you still have like a few minutes or seconds to play. So I'm like, all right, it is what it is. You missed the free throw. We can still win the game. And so we went and I had a steal, but it, that turned into a turnover, and then they made some good plays, and you know they were able to come out. All right, so we're gonna you know talk, you know, some fun round. All right, it's called a speed round. You, know, okay. you said you watched the show before, so yeah. you say a word, and you gotta tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. All right, ready? All right. Yeah. All right. Favorite NBA team? The Bucks. Dream car? Lambo truck. Music artist? King Vaughn. Shoes? Kyrie's. Favorite NBA player? Giannis. Soda. Uh, Frutope mix mix with Sprite. <laughs> I, I can't go any, mix, any, anything else. Mix. I gotta mix it. <laughs> All right, color. Um, blue. Best basketball player you played against? Probably Mellow Ball. All right, now last but not least, if you could eat dinner with one person dead or alive, who would it be? I got Why? three of them. You got three? Yes. Send them. Send them. One that's dead is King Von. Yeah. I'm definitely go out with King Von. Um, alive Giannis and John Lucas the third. Just because I had a conversation with him before on Instagram Live, actually. And I just feel like 
I need more from him. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah. them three, them three for sure. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I feel yeah. that. So we're going into our next round here. This is this or that. You know, we're trying to get to know you. You know, I'm gonna say two things. You gotta tell me which one you prefer. Okay. Texting or calling. Ooh, it depends on the person, but usually I go texting. Let's say like, you're the girl, you're, this girl you're trying to talk to, you know what I mean? It's the girl you're trying I'll to go calling, call because I feel like girls can't text for real, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> you think girls are, the girls are broad think, or just girls in general? In general, <laughs> in general, in general. Like you can't, it's weird to have a conversation with girls. For me anyway. Yeah, calling. Anyway. You know I mean? Yeah. I feel that. All right, you're in a game now, you prefer dunking or hitting a three-pointer? Honestly, give me the dunk. Dunk. You yeah. do be dunking though, but you hit a three in that last game against um Agoma from the top of the key, bro. Oh uh, yeah, I did. I just I felt disrespected because like I don't <laughs> like, bro. I wear, I shoot every day, yeah. and it's like, like you can't just disrespect deal. somebody yeah. like that. Like I caught the ball, and then all they were all standing like right on the baseline. I'm like, yo, like what? <laughs> so I had to shoot. It. Yeah, you pull to. that. You pull that stuff. You yeah. prefer dunking? Yeah, yeah, dunk yeah. Like dunking on somebody, like it might just be two points, yeah. but the momentum and the energy it gives yeah. will translate that two points to like maybe like a 16 0 run. You know you're right, you're right, you're right. All right, potato chips or corn chips? Like, you know, dry or some Lay's or like Doritos? Mm. That's a tough one. I'll go with I'll one. go with Lay's though. Lay's yeah, for real? I'll go with Lay's. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a Doritos kind of guy. I don't even eat them. Like, like, I, like Doritos, when I eat Doritos, I be mixing it with stuff. Mm -hmm. So like, I'll get like cake and then eat with Doritos, you know? <laughs> like, it's a weird <laughs> mix, but that's, weird. that's the only reason why I eat Doritos. Anything else is just <laughs> like, I can eat Lay's straight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Doritos, I gotta mix it with like, some I sweets and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, LeBron or Jordan? Um, I gotta go with the guy that's high as my name. Like I was, you know, so Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. I love LeBron though. LeBron is tough, and like, like I started playing basketball kind of late, so like I was more into like the LeBrons. Mm -hmm. But then my dad was like, "Yo, your name is Jordan. What are you doing watching LeBron?" So yeah. I'm like, All right. I just went with Jordan ever since then. Yeah. So definitely Jordan. So you said soccer was the first sport you really played. So like Messi or Ronaldo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> on FIFA, I go Ronaldo, to be honest. Ronaldo? I play a lot of FIFA. Ronaldo is OP, overpowered. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a beast. Yeah, I he's a beast. He's a beast. You can go Ronaldo. Yeah, Ronaldo. Uh, all right, dope. But Jordan, thanks for coming and talking with us. You yes, know, this is, this is a chill round. This is yes, a chill sir. section. Yes, but next time, we're going into the challenge the annual round. Right, so we're going to get into it. Let's get it. I know I've I seen you lost you. to my teammate, though. Yeah, well, we're going to we'll see what happens, bro. <laughs> <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, guys. It's time for the challenge down and around. Now listen, my man, Jordan. Cassius came on my show and he beat me. Exactly. So that's not gonna happen this time, bro. Listen, I'm getting my my revenge. Cassius is my revenge, all right? So we got a little challenge set up for you so we can see how, how you is. Bro. Let's get it, let's all get right, it, let's, let's get, get it. it. Gotta do it for the basketball team, all right? <laughs> all right, three, two, one, go. Oh. oh. That's, that's the first time I've ever hit the shot on the first shot. That's clutch. Oh my god. That's clutch. And he had warm up too. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, that's tough. Yo. That is tough. Dude, this bro. close, bro. I, yo. <laughs> and I fumbled the ball over there too. Oh. I fumbled no. the ball over there. Honestly, bro. That was a fun challenge, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I told of... you, I told you I had to do it. I couldn't you... lose after seeing one of my you teammates. Yeah, bro. And my shot it went and hit and everything too. Fumble you know all that. And I knew yeah. I had to hit the shot. I knew I had to. It's all good though. <laughs> Honestly, thanks for coming on the show. Nah, I appreciate you for fun. having me, bro. Appreciate you for having me. It was fun me. talking, getting to know yes, you sir. and stuff like that, especially yes, you know, sir. playing in the States and like coming back to yes, Canada yes, and sir. stuff like that. It was a good experience. Be sure to tune in. Brock and basketball on Instagram as well. Playoffs coming up in a bit. So that's it, bro. Trying to get it to win, you know. 
um, try to get some dubs for real and hit my free throws because needed. But um, my name is Jordan Twente and I'm your weekly badger.